Hello, my name is Keaton Adams. I'm an advisory data engineer with the field organization. I'm here today to introduce Greenplum and all of the great things that the platform can be used for, especially from a customer point of view. I thought about the best way to introduce Greenplum as a data analytics platform. What I decided on is to provide an overview of a customer I worked with last year, who I helped migrate existing data loading and reporting workloads to a new database cluster. The team's focus is on internal auditing of systems and users. Their initial data collection activities started out on Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle. You know, it is very common for IT staff to begin data reporting and analytic projects using familiar tools and technologies, such as traditional relational databases. A good deal was done using T-SQL and SQL Server Information Services to provide an aggregated data set that was ultimately used for scheduled reporting and for making data searchable through three web-based applications that were written for different types of user groups in the organization. After a while though, problems began to develop with the architecture. The team found that single server relational databases such as SQL Server could not keep up with the growing data volume as more data sources were incorporated into their workflow. Data processing failed to meet deadlines because of extended load and processing times, as data volumes grew to the tens of terabytes with billions of rows per table in a single database. Soon, the team had the additional headache of database sprawl, with many relational databases deployed on multiple servers used for data management in an attempt to keep up with the demands of the business. Eventually, the team was able to carve out a portion of an enterprise data lake deployed on Hadoop for their own purpose. This actually helped in many ways. Several of the larger data streams were redirected to the Hadoop cluster for processing. The team was also able to do more with semi-structured and unstructured log data, which required a good deal of pre-processing before it turned into useful information. They took advantage of the various data types, such as Avro, JSON, Parquet, and ORC. They were also able to write their data processing and analytics jobs in Hive and in Python using Spark. So while Hadoop helped in many ways, it also produced a new problem where the incoming data was now spread across even more data stores, with different application developers using even more tools to provide data to the web, app to the web applications. Hadoop was great for capturing large data sets, but Hive proved to be too inefficient at handling all the various types of SQL queries that were needed by these web applications and overall performance of Hive on Hadoop was simply too slow. Hive was also not ideal for their power users who ran advanced SQL analytic jobs and tools such as Microsoft Power BI and Tableau. They were also allowed to construct and run ad hoc SQL directly against the datasets, which was a challenge to manage and to have perform at acceptable levels. So what were the options to improve the situation? This company had prior exposure to Pivotal products. So when we reviewed their problem set and offered Greenplum as a solution, they were interested in giving it a try. I spent time with the platform architects and developers to help them install and configure a Greenplum cluster and to help migrate existing data sets and workloads to the Greenplum platform. With Greenplum, we were able to use the built-in tools and extensions to support ETL from all the various data sources that they had, reading in files of all types. This included reading and writing data through Spark jobs and Kafka topics. We installed the GPF disk parallel loader under the SQL Server ETL machines, which allowed them to migrate the data to Greenplum very easily. They were also able to use a key feature of Greenplum called the Platform Extension Framework, or PXF, to write aggregated data sets back to HDFS for long-term storage. Greenplum was easily able to manage the data and the concurrent user load that they were working with at the time. And it was poised to handle the projected 200 to roughly 300 terabytes of additional raw data that the team was expecting to ingest in the next year. Eventually at peak, they anticipate their Greenplum database size to stay around 250 terabytes of active data. So, as data was migrated off of SQL Server and Oracle, it was combined with data that originated in Hadoop, 
allowing Greenplum to become the new primary source of information that drove the web applications, the schedule of reports, and the ad hoc SQL queries for end users. Additionally, more insight into the data was now possible since the information was consolidated into a single high-speed analytical platform, supporting a rich SQL interface and embedded languages such as PLPython and PLR. So with that, let's spend a few minutes diving a bit deeper into Pivotal and what Greenplum has to offer. Pivotal Greenplum is a product that was launched in 2005, which now has 14 years of development effort behind it. The company itself went through a transition where it was acquired by EMC Corporation, which eventually established Pivotal. As of now, there have been over 1,000 person years of R&D invested in the product, as Greenplum continues to evolve and advance as the leading open source analytical MPP platform. Like Postgres, Greenplum Database is an open source project, which is available to download on GitHub. The open source strategy allows collaboration between Pivotal engineers and the community who will all work to contribute to the Greenplum code base. So why would a customer be interested in Greenplum? The key platform features address the areas that most companies deal with today with data gathering, data management and reporting, along with data analytics. Greenplum is extremely good at ingesting large volumes of data at high speed, which works to support concurrent business processes and the end users that rely on business intelligence and standard reports. In addition, the platform can scale up to meet the data growth of the business, helping to automate data load and management processes while providing the data security companies require, even for the most sensitive of information that is stored and analyzed on the platform. With Greenplum, the database is tuned to support advanced data science activities to gain new insight into existing customer data as well as to support popular data analytics practices such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, and even deep learning. In a typical IT environment, the Greenplum Next Generation Data Platform sits squarely in the middle of the flow of data processing. It has the ability to pull in data in massively parallel fashion from a wide range of data sources and from a large number of popular data formats. Greenplum provides the advanced SQL capabilities to work with all major business intelligence and reporting tools, and it supports a number of embedded languages for in-database analytics. Greenplum is a product that was designed from the ground up to be platform agnostic. It is optimized to run on traditional hardware platforms, virtual platforms, and in the public cloud. A customer can have a mix of virtual and physical hardware deployments, all of which use the exact same software for guaranteed compatibility between the environments. And when I say that Greenplum runs on all major public cloud platforms, the integration goes way beyond simply just having an image available for anyone to spin up a single or multi-node cluster. An entire engineering team at Pivotal continuously works to tune Greenplum to work optimally in each of the three major cloud provider environments and they have made available the Greenplum database in each provider's marketplace, which allows for essentially one button push deployment of a fully tuned multi-node Greenplum cluster in a matter of minutes. For customers who still prefer to have Greenplum deployed on hardware running in their data center, Pivotal has partnered with Dell to create Greenplum Building Blocks, a reference architecture designed to deliver unrivaled price and performance for next generation analytics and AI. A real strength of this massively parallel processing database is to take analytics to where the data lives. Greenplum supports a number of analytic functions and languages that allow a data analyst to ask real world questions on massive data sets, receiving answers in record time. Advanced analytic support includes open source libraries such as Madlib for machine learning and graph analysis and PostGIS for geospatial analysis. Data analysts and data scientists can write and run code in the database in a secure manner thanks to the integration of Greenplum with Docker containers. When a user's code is executed, it can run within the confines of a container to allow full parallel processing against the data while ensuring that their PL Python or PLR code 
has access to only the information that they are allowed to see. The recent integration with Greenplum and the latest release of Apache Solar provided in a module we call GP Text allows for full text indexing and search right within the database. PLPython and PLJava integration provides the ability to perform functions such as natural language processing. All of this processing power is made possible through the massively parallel Postgres architecture. Data is managed by multiple Postgres databases, all working together as one system, hosted across any number of virtual or hardware data nodes, which allows for massive scale to handle even petabyte sized data sets. Not only is data automatically distributed across all nodes in the cluster, Greenplum offers traditional methods of table partitioning, which speeds up query access times on filter conditions and allows for easier data management as information is added and rolled off by time period. People ask if Greenplum is a row or column database. The answer is both. With the flexible storage architecture, the data designer can choose to store a given table, even down to the partition of a table, in either row or column orientation, based on the anticipated access patterns by queries run against the dataset. Greenplum also produces transparent external table access to all types of data stored on any number of platforms. A modern day big data analytical database only performs as well as queries execute, which is heavily determined by the query optimizer. Greenplum has a state of the art optimizer called GP Orca, which was written from the ground up to perform in a big data MPP environment. GP Orca can analyze a very large number of potential query plans in less than a second, which produces fully optimized plans even for advanced SQL such as complex nested subqueries. The Greenplum analytical platform includes a feature called the Platform Extension Framework, or PXF. This API can access information that is considered hot, warm, or cold from sources such as Hadoop, in-memory data stores, other relational databases, and even from cloud sources such as Amazon S3. Another popular method of loading data into Greenplum is through the Greenplum Kafka connector. Greenplum Kafka integration provides high-speed parallel data transfer from Kafka to Greenplum to support a streaming ETL pipeline. Of course, data can be sourced from any number of data files and formats, whether it be structured, semi-structured, XML, Parquet, CSV, and the like. A modern data platform such as Greenplum needs to provide a rich set of tools to easily manage and maintain the environment. Pivotal offers Greenplum Command Center, a web-based administration tool that offers a number of ways to graphically monitor and administer the database. Greenplum ships with a robust workload management feature, which provides the ability to place users in specific resource groups where concurrency, CPU utilization, and memory utilization can all be tuned and managed. A feature of Command Center is the ability to graphically administer and maintain these concurrent workloads. Once resource groups are created with users assigned to them, it is possible for an administrator to do advanced rules-based resource management, assigning queries with keywords or key tags to process through a specific resource group. Command Center also allows an administrator to have full control over user activity by monitoring all concurrent query activity, including the ability to quickly identify and is isolate query operations that may be blocked by other user activity in the system. For any single query, it is also possible to view current performance and resource consumption levels, which includes a graphical tool that shows in real time a query's progress through the different stages of query execution. While great progress has been made over the years with Greenplum, the engineering effort goes on at a rapid pace. Greenplum continues to evolve with the latest IT trends, including the ability to run within a containerized environment. Greenplum for Kubernetes is one example of a new software engineering effort that continues on to meet the needs of customers today and into the future. Thank you.